What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we need to have a quick update about all the news that is coming around for the One Piece TCG in Japan. They do tend to do a bit of a weekly news update, and then obviously there's other news that comes out throughout the week, of course. But there have been a few things on the weekly news update, including something completely brand new. We've got ourselves some new storage boxes. They are featuring Ace. They are featuring Luffy. They are coming out on the 24th of February. And they are retailing for 1,320 yen. And if we do a little bit of currency conversion over on XE.com, 1,320 yen with a little bit of a rounding comes out to somewhere in the region of... Nine dollars. These are basically nine dollar products. They're cool. They're all right. Are they perfect? I mean, look, they're up to you. One thing I find super weird here, like the ace is the manga ace artwork. Like we, we, we can see that, right? There's no secret here. This is very clearly the artwork from manga ace. We have a manga Luffy and yet it's not that artwork. Which is a little bit weird, frankly. But there we go. Ace, you've got the Manga Ace treatment. Luffy, I'm just trying to double check over on One Piece Dash Card Game Dev, trying to see if this is artwork that we've used in the TCG before. I'm not seeing this exact artwork having been used on a card before. And One Piece Dash Card Game Dev is generally the best place to look for this. And it's weird that we've got, like, the OPO2 Manga Ace being used. And yet we've got seemingly brand new Luffy artwork. If I am being dumb, I'm a little ill at the moment. So if I am being dumb and this has been used on a card at some point, please do, you know, let me know, obviously. But I'm having a good old look here, and I am not seeing anything here in terms of a card that we have, you know, had before. This seems like new artwork, which is frankly a little bit weird. Hey ho. It's just it's it's honestly just a weird contrast. Having a manga rare artwork that we're all so familiar with, and then also combining it with a brand new artwork. It just seems a little inconsistent, is all. I don't know. That's where we are. Now there are some other cool things going on in Japan, but it's largely making sure that things are being made more available. Like, for instance, the live-action One Piece cards. Now, I'm still a little bit salty that the Monkey to Garp didn't get a printing here. Remember, these are alternate arts of existing promo cards, and for some reason, they've printed everyone but Garp. Why? Don't know. But if I was the actor who played Garp, and I saw everyone else getting the card, but I didn't get mine, I'd honestly be a little bit sad about that. That would not be ideal. But you see... This was made available on Premium Bandai. For a while, it was there. You could order it. It was on Premium Bandai. Job was a good one. It is no longer on Premium Bandai. What that means is it's, well, in theory, hard to get. But it's actually not hard to get. Because what they're doing over in Japan, and I think this is a fantastic move, which could be repeated over here, incidentally, in the US, Europe, etc., they are making it available in jump stores and Mugiwara stores, straw hat shops over in Japan. In Japan, they have a couple of different types of shops. They've got jump stores, which, shockingly enough, stock products from all jump properties. Jump being the, the comic, the manga that collects a bunch of these, including One Piece. And then they've also got the One Piece Mugiwara stores. Mugiwara means straw hat in Japanese. And essentially, that's far more just like, hey, this is for One Piece. If you're a One Piece fan... Come on down, this is awesome. And they are making these available in these shops. And I think that is absolutely wonderful. I think this is brilliant and awesome and a fantastic idea. Because these are products that they could have just gone, we'll whack it on Premium Bandai. And when it's gone, it's gone. And anyone who misses out, misses out. And there's partly like a marketing thing here, obviously. They are trying to push the live action One Piece. And selling these in these stores is going to push the live action One Piece. Obviously, there is something else going on here. This is still a marketing ploy. But as a fan of the One Piece TCG, I think this is fantastic. Because either I want these cards, and I can go to jump stores and Mugiwara stores and pick them up, and that's amazing. Or I don't want these cards, and I can just ignore them. 
but the fact that they're more available is awesome. Speaking of things being more available, EB01. Now, EB01 is the new set, which is, is literally coming out in Japan this weekend. Very cool set. It's the first extra booster, the first special set that the One Piece TCG have actually done so far. So they've got, you know, the ratios of which cards are actually included in there are a little bit different to what we've seen from other sets. It's not exactly like we would generally expect it to be. Like, for instance, there's one secret rare, the, the Bonclay Bentham. And then, of course, we've got your, you know, Manga Chopper, which I know everybody is going to be super duper excited about. And basically, it's a cool set that everybody should be pretty excited about, frankly. The problem is, in Japan, One Piece, not unlike over here, is a card game that is extremely popular. And that can lead to some issues like, you know, not actually being able to get the cards. So what Bandai are doing is they are making this available over on Premium Bandai. And I think that's fantastic. I think that's a wonderful idea. I think that's a phenomenal idea because it's going to make these cards more available. It's going to mean people can get hold of them more easily. It's just going to be a wonderful thing. I think this is fantastic. And frankly, I applaud Bandai for doing this. Because again, this is one of those things where Bandai could just turn around and go, look, we are sending what we can to stores. It's not our fault. It's really popular. People are buying them. We are trying our best. What they're doing instead is making it available on premium Bandai. I believe it's limited to one per box. And they're basically saying, you know what? We are going to go out of our way, take extra special measures to try and make this set more available to the fans of the card game. And I just think this is fantastic. I love this. And, you know, a lot of stories we're talking about today, like the live action cards being put into jump stores and Mugiwara stores, like EB01 being put onto premium Bandai, it's just making cards more available for fans of the game. And here, there isn't really that much of an upside to Bandai. At least putting the live action cards in these shops, you know, works as a bit of advertising for the live action One Piece. But here, the stock that they're diverting to premium Bandai, they could very easily just send to the stores they're already sending to. This is extra work to make boxes available in a different way that they knew were going to sell anyway. But they're doing it to make these cards more available to average people, people who don't necessarily have a shop they can just wander down to on release date and buy from. And I just think this is absolutely fantastic. And then they're running back an old favourite. So the 8-pack battle. Yeah, that's back, ladies and gentlemen. The 8-pack battle is back. This is where you rock along. You get 8 packs of the One Piece TCG. You get yourself an all-colour Luffy for entering. And then if you go and win the whole thing, or top two if it's a double size event, then all of a sudden you get your alternate art Sabo as well. This is honestly kind of cool. And the all-colour Luffy is the one whereby it's all colours, but also it's it's got every name and every trait. Basically, any card that needs a specific type or even a specific leader to interact can work with this Luffy. So it basically means that if you choose to play this leader, you can play absolutely any card you get in your eight packs. And I just think this is a really, really cool way to do it. Well, they're doing it again. We saw these starting around with OPO4, which is, of course, the set from which the Sabo comes. This is, of course, the same Sabo, which is, you know, among other printings, the Manga Rare. And this is awesome. I love that they're bringing this back because, again, this is exactly the kind of thing where they could have moved on by now. They could have left that Akira Igawa Luffy a bit rarer. They could have left this Sabo. And remember, this Sabo is one which is going to be very rare because it's only given to the winner. They could have just left that sit and increase in value. And the fact that they're now making it, you know, more available, the fact that more of these tournaments are running, I just think is fantastic. I'm a huge fan of all of this, honestly. Like, these storage boxes, they're new products. Take it or leave it. I've shown you. I've explained it. And obviously, these storage boxes will get in English at some point. We always get these. These accessories Japan gets, we get them at some point as well. Except, I think, the card frames. I'm not sure we got them yet. There's a weird thing going on there, because we don't get the Pokemon card frames either. But anyway, we're going to get them at some point. We always get these storage boxes. But then everything else here is basically Bandai just going out of their way to make cards more available and less rare to help everybody out. 
And I just think that's fantastic. But I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section, would you go nuts? Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at Lawasi. That's where we talk about One Piece and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.